Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Abel and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I haven't done a realistic illustration and actually the last video I did with this kind of illustration was the blue whale that if you haven't seen you can click on the link that's over here and watch it. And that's why today I will show you how I made this illustration of a clownfish using watercolors. First I will show you the supplies I used and then let's do it. I will use paper, Godet, container with water, watercolors, and a brush. And since this illustration requires a lot of details, I will use a number one brush, very fine and with a very soft tip. Remember that the complete list of supplies is in the description box. I will begin by diluting black watercolor in plenty of water in order to create the base. Perhaps you may see that over here the color looks pretty saturated, but I can assure you I used a lot of water, as you can see when I put the color on the paper. With this I will create the basic silhouette of the clownfish, and also this base will work later as the white color of the body of the fish. Now I will start to use the orange, and unlike the black, I will use less water, and I will do this to have a more saturated color. I will take the orange to create the fins and the stripes of the body. And here I can recommend you to do this from left to right if you are right handed like me, or vice versa from right to left if you are left handed, and from top to bottom. With a little amount of red color I will create a shadow on the fins and on the tail in order to create more deepness. And now I will paint the three stripes of the body and one way to locate them better is to think that each stripe goes right beneath each of the fins. And of course is the third one that's on the face. Of course you can use an image from the internet as guide which is what I did. With the red I will finish the details of the fins. And once the watercolor on the body is completely dry, I will paint the pectoral fin. I think it's called that way. No, it's not called that. Please let me know in the comment section how is this fin called because I have no idea. Now I will paint the eye, taking the color with very little water so the color is pretty saturated. Which is what I'm gonna do with the rest of the details of this color on the body. You guys, I forgot to record one little part of this video, but it's something very simple and it's the little sparkle that is here on the eye and I used uh, white acrylic paint to do this. Other than that, I don't think that I missed that much. And you know what? I think this illustration came up way better than I expected and I'm starting to fancy these kind of illustrations, but actually one part that is very difficult about these kinds of illustration is that, well, of course I don't have that much experience and because of that, it takes me a lot of time to do this compared to some other illustrations. You can let me know in the comment section down below what do you think and if you have any idea of something to do in the future. And if you're not subscribed and you would like to be, hit the subscription button or you can do that on the image that's over here and turn on the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when there's a new video around. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments and for sharing this content and I recommend you to see these videos that you may like. Follow me on my social media that's on the screen and in the description box and I'm off. See you next time. Bye-bye.